we come back to uh, insert and we want to insert a new value in fact we'll do this in a query so we want to insert into um, users values so we've got our ID Ooh. Our ID, our first name, our or our username, our password, our first name, and our last name. So we've got um, Alex, say password, Alex, and then Garrett. So let's click go. Now what you can see is, um, oh, okay, right, maybe not. So let's go back to operations. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So I set it to zero. It needs to be set to one. Sorry. So click go. Um, let's come and delete this um, query I've just put in there. And what that will do is now when we want to reinsert some data, so insert into um, users values ID username password first name surname you set up this structure first of all it makes it a lot easier to look at and say just enter your data so password Alex and then Garrett let's click go now you can see that we've inserted it with a row ID hmm okay right okay um, for some reason this doesn't want to go back That's odd. Perhaps we need to delete before we do this. So uh, let's um, come into browse and click delete operations. Let's come and change this to one. Click go. Let's just check that's definitely been changed back to one. Yeah, it has. So let's um, let's uh, insert that again certainly getting lots of practice inserting uh, using this uh, SQL so insert into users values oh too many commas so we've got uh, the username password again Alex and Garrett so let's click go Okay, so inserted row ID 1. So if you were to delete all the data in your table and you want to start at ID 1 again, then just click on the operations tab and you can do that uh, from there. So these are some of the basic uh, queries, if you like, that we've performed to insert, delete data, modify data. Um, there's plenty more things you can do, uh, things that you can use joins with combinations of tables. Um, if you're struggling with this, then uh, just have a play around with it, um, creating data, deleting, uh, modifying, um, just selecting from different places as well. We also have things called ordering, so we can order um, we can order things and limit things as well. Now let's just um, insert a few more bits of data. So username Billy, password password, um, and then Billy Garrett. Uh, let's insert some more. Say Dale, password, Dale, Garrett. Click go. So we've got three um, bits of data in here. So we're just imagining that we've got lots and lots of data for now. We've got ID of one, two, and three. Now, assuming that ID is one uh, for Alex and ID is three for Dale, Alex will have been created a lot earlier than um, Dale. We've created Alex first, then Billy, then Dale, because we're using the ID as an ordering system. Now it's probably best to use timestamps in this case. Um, I have a tutorial on timestamps that you should go back and look at if you don't already uh, know. But when you're inserting data, you should probably always use a field with a timestamp in it. And therefore, what you can do is you can order, um, order your rows depending on when that row was created. So when the row was created, the timestamp will be, will, you know, you'll be able to uh, order it because it's just an integer, it's just a large integer. But for now, I'm gonna order using ID. Now what happens if I want to order this, um, display all users, but in order of the last user first? So I want Dale to be first, then Billy, then Alex. Now, if you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna, just gonna show you. If we go to select, say, um, 
first name and the um, have I called it surname or last name? Let's just have a check. Uh, surname. So first name and surname from users. Um, all that's going to do is select everything. So let's just copy and paste that so we can use it later. Let's click go. You can see that what's happened is, is we've returned Alex, Garrett, Billy, Garrett, Dale, Garrett. Now, like I said, I want to structure this so Dale is at the top, then Billy, then Alex. For example, you may have a page on your website that says the new, like a member list, and you want to structure your member list with the newest member at the top. In this case, this is ordered in um, descending. We started from the first user and we're descending down. What if we want it ascending? We want to go from the um, from the last one and we want to go up to the top. So what we do is we um, need to change our query in order to um, adhere to this. So what we need to do is we need to use this order by, and we want to order it by a specific column. And this column, as we've discussed, is ID. Um, so order by ID. Now, it's fair enough ordering by ID, but how are we ordering? Now, we can order by ascending or descending, and it's written ASC or DESC okay so uh, yeah DESC so I want to order by ascending first of all I'm gonna click go and you can see that it's um, it's uh, ordered it in ascending order now if I want to descend from Dale to Alex all I need to do is make a simple edit to my query and I want to say order descending in capitals so we can see what we're doing so I'm now ordering it um, in descending order so if we click go you can see that Dale's at the top then Billy then Alex so like I said this could be important for something a list that you want to order in a specific order you could be ordering by say a price or you could be ordering by um, a date that a comment was made. So if you had a comment system on your website, you'd be storing comments in a table. You'd assign the date to a field called timestamp, and then you can order by that time. So there's many uses for things like ordering. So now what happens if I only want to show the first two recently registered users, which in this case would be Dale and Billy, I can use this thing called limit, the limit keyword. So order by ID descending space limit and then a number so limit 3 limit 2 limit 1 if you had lo lots of records you could say limit 100 so I'm gonna limit by 2 it's as simple as that limit space 2 remember your space after your descending as well so we don't need any sort of commas or anything in between these um, we just need spaces so now what we're doing is we're ordering we're selecting the first name and the surname from users we're ordering by the ID in descending limit so the f so from the most recently inserted row to the least um, or the first I guess and then we're limiting by two so by clicking this clicking go you can see that we're only returning the first two rows so I think that's about all for the most basic um, queries, things like that, that we're going to be using on a regular basis. You will pick up more as we go along, especially inside PHP, when we need to do things like joins. Um, but for now, that's basic queries, and I've demonstrated this in PHP My Admin, which is a really good place to mess around and try things out in an environment where you can visualize things, rather than going straight into PHP. So if you uh, visualize this first and have a play around, as soon as you understand it, then we can proceed to doing this but inside PHP.